Good morning from our fourth day in Tasmania. We woke up really early today to come to catch the sunrise at this beautiful place, Cradle Mountain. And this is the Dove Lake. So we're gonna just go and walk around, enjoy the calmness, take some pictures. It's so beautiful. The lake is like a mirror. So since Tasmania is so low on the on the map and it's summer here now so sunsets and sunrises are really slow they last about two to three hours like the golden hour lasts that long which is incredible for us photographers and the light is soft for longer This has to be one of the most beautiful walks I've had in a national park. It's so well kept and put together. Look at these paths. They lead you around. There's flowers everywhere. And you have a massive mountain up above there. And the mirrored lake. It's beautiful. So early, there's nobody else here. It's nice and peaceful. You can hear the birds. There's a lot of flies, which is a bit annoying because they gather around you, but other than that, love it. The sun is up. I had no idea Tasmania was so beautiful before we came here. Seriously, had nothing, no expectations. It is stunning. And this is why you need to come very early. When we came, the lake was still it was mirrored and now just at what is it half past seven in the morning it's already wavy and no reflections 
lesson to waking up early that I need because I can't wake up. A lot of spiders like to cross their web. I don't know if you can see it really. Mm -hmm. It's not focusing. Focus on the spider. Anyway, there's spider webs crossing the entire path. One after the other, and we keep falling into them. So, if it's a poisonous spider, because we're in Australia still, and uh, we get bit and we die, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, so I somehow managed to lose the rest of the footage from the Tasmania trip. I have no idea how I managed to do that, but embarrassing as it is I did so uh, I'm gonna talk you through the rest of the trip I do have a few clips that I use for my Instagram stories that I can use to fill out the the, the, the missing links here and there so excuse the vertical format basically after a lovely lovely morning hike at Cradle Mountain we went back to the Airbnb where we just passed out and had a nice rest for the rest of the day until it was time for sunset where we basically drove back to the Cradle Mountain so we can climb up a different hike and check out the beautiful, beautiful sunset that never manifested. <laughs> As we were climbing up the mountain, a whole bunch of clouds rolled, uh, rolled in and it was actually a bit scary because we didn't really know where we were going and we couldn't really see where we were going at some point and it got dark really fast, it started raining. So as soon as we got up to the top, we took a couple of pictures of very foggy, misty, cloudy mountains and lakes and then we headed straight back down to, uh, to the car. The next day we were back on the road heading back south towards Hobart where we were going to be flying out from but on our way down there we stopped by some really gorgeous waterfalls called Leafy Falls and took some pictures that I was very happy with, very tropical looking, um, ferns everywhere, you know, green waterfalls. And right next to these waterfalls, there was a massive tree that I managed to take pictures of with Chris for scale. And I don't think if they do it justice, it was really, really tall. Like I strained my neck looking up. I had to take a picture with my iPhone in panorama mode vertically to basically capture the whole thing uh, where you could really sense the, the height of it. Look at this huge tree we found. After we dropped off our bags at the next place where we we're going to be spending the night, we tried to find a nice location for the sunset. We drove around a bit and we didn't really find a perfect spot, but we did manage to grab a few nice sunset pictures. The next morning we had a few hours to kill before our flight, so we drove up Wellington Mountain, which is a pretty tall mountain right next to Hobart where it basically overlooks the entirety of the city and where it's very windy and very cold. And that basically concluded our Tasmania road trip. I have nothing but good words to say about Tasmania. I wish I can go back someday soon. And I highly recommend you guys uh, going there, especially if you're in Australia. It's just a very short flight from Melbourne or Sydney, so I don't see why not. It's a small island. You can see quite a lot of it in a few days. So I hope you enjoyed the video and the short series that I made from Tasmania. If you have any feedback, leave it down below. And thanks so much for watching. Consider giving me a like and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.